Pam Greer. How are you? I am so thrilled to see you. Talk about a glass ceiling breaker. And here you are, still powering through, setting the pace for Anything women. Anything to keep from doing the dishes. Amen. I'm with you. Uh, that's the reason why I wanted to show uh, women, but not just one culture, that would show our, our normalize our sexual intelligence and our power and help us get out the kitchen mm -hmm. to show a vast array of women who could be pilots, which we weren't allowed to be pilots yeah. growing up. When in the 70s or 60s, 60s, on the basis they were women, they can't shift, they can't guide a plane, no, the jet, jet force, G forces can't do it, all that stuff dispelled. Yeah. And I just wanted to show a wide variety of all of us and not just one. We're, I, I could have been the Me Too, but it was, I'm, it's very emotional, it's about time. My sisters, my family's very, we're gypsies, we're Native American, we're African, we're, we're so many different cultures who are out in the fields, who taught me things and protected me from Jim Crow. When we were little, we used to see people hanging from trees. You know, so I've learned and I have a lot to say because when I read my first book, Red Pony, you read it or you see a movie 20, 30 years later, your maturity and your wisdom has changed your perspective. And it's so, it's so important to revisit the classics, to re revisit all the movies that are being shown. And that's what makes Turner classic movie so important and vital, because not all the, the networks and studios are doing it. And then to herald all of these, these wonderful films here at a film festival, that it's very, I'm, I'm so honored to be here, because I've had cancer three times. You never know what was that, your day, and I'm here to share what I have. And with everyone saying, you know, we, we just talk about battles. The pandemic, yep. come on now. There's cholera lo literally obliterated Europe at one point mm -hmm. because they ignored it and said, oh, witches burn everybody. No, you need to start thinking about other issues, medical issues, and that's what we did and that's what we do and that's why we're here. Yeah. And I'm here with you. And of course, come the fall, anybody that doesn't see you here are going to get to hear you on the TCM podcast all fall. Yes, mommy. Okay, but Ben, I was, well, when I when I heard his Peter Bogdanovich, I was so impressed. I said, I, I have to do it. I will make time for him. I really have to because I want him to hear about things of my changes since since my autobiography, which Disney is producing, they're mm -hmm. developing now, and to now where I am now. So it would be interesting because I was able to share with him some moments that were just so critical, so important, so scary. You know, I mean, people here have not seen people hanging from trees as a little girl. Well, I will be listening with ear to the gr with ear to the ground for the at those podcasts when they great. start. It's going to be great. He's a master at you know yes. being calm and centered and, and say, okay, Ben, I need a moment here. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to recover, but I will try to work it through. Yeah. Because I was traumatized for so long. So. Well, I'm glad you're here, and so is everybody else who is going to see coffee, who's going to hear you. Um, and I will I tell don't know you, why. I saw coffee back in 77 when it came out in 77. You were 10. In se it, no, I was not. Don't I wish. Um, in 77, I w took the train to Center City, Philadelphia, because that's where it was screening. It wasn't screening in the suburb. No. And I saw it. Inner City, the Silverman uh, uh, Theater Company. Probably. And that's where I saw it. Yeah. Great. And I have never forgotten it. So Thank for you, you to be Thank here. You. It's amazing. Thank you. It is amazing that I am here. I'm, and I know very glad he anxiously you. wants to take you away. We gotta go. Goodbye, Pam. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.